All right, hello everybody. Not too nice of a day out, but I still I wanted to get out and shoot this thing. You're going to notice that I'm carrying the uh, the Bird's Head Wrangler in its provided holster. Now I was being a little bit uh, you know catty and spiteful when I made that video yesterday. This is actually a really nice holster, and uh, I'm going to carry it in this for a while as I work on some of my designs. But uh, hey, here we are. We're here to shoot, not to talk. Uh, I have found I do like this in its cross draw configuration, and I didn't show that the other day. I'll uh, I'll show it a little bit better later. I got a couple things that I want to share that I've uh, noticed and found out about this. So hey, let's put some shots on paper. First shots. Should have been six. Yep. We're uh, shooting herders, uh, forty grain plated hollow point, claimed twelve eighty feet per second. We'll uh, put another six in here. Now I am finding already that loading this is a little bit tricky depending on the round. Uh, it's a tight, tight tolerance. You have to have that uh, cylinder just, just right or uh, they don't want to slide in. See, that's right. There we go. All right. Six more. And I sort of scattered those around. I'm going to try two-handed this time and actually looking through my glasses. Yep, that was six. Oh, it was much better. Uh, hitting a little high. Not too, too terrible. We'll give you a look here in a second. Well, there's one that doesn't want to extract. Just because... Oh, there we go. Now it's out. Well, let's put another six on the paper and then we'll walk down and look at the target. The uh, grip, very comfortable, having no trouble holding on to that. Uh, of course there's not much in the way of recoil from a 22 long rifle. All right, that's six. Um, one of the things I've noticed, uh, part of the safety features, when you've had the loading gate open and you've been moving the cylinder, you cannot uh, 
draw the hammer back. It's one of the safety features that when it's open to keep it from possibly going off. So once you've closed up the loading gate, you have to sort of twist the cylinder a little bit to let it lock in and then you can uh, draw the hammer back. Click. All right. That's uh, about a minute as good as I can do. <laughs> Let's go take a look at it. All right. The uh, the top dot is the first six that I fired one-handed, and they're scattered around a little bit. The uh, the next twelve are on the bottom dot and uh, like I say they are hitting a little bit high right so uh, I might just have to hold a little bit I've got another set of targets ready to go right there I'm gonna go ahead and pause it run back and uh, we'll set up from the other side Glasses help. Yep, has six. All right, so uh, first shots through the Wrangler. I like it. Um, I've shot worse than that. <laughs> so uh, I got a couple things I want to do, you know, sort of afterwards. Maybe want to get back onto the, the bench at home. Uh, a few things I want to point out on that pistol. So uh, thanks for coming along on a rain trip. I wanted to do a little after range report and a uh, couple things about this pistol. Uh, first thing first, before I take it off, this holster, I uh, really shouldn't have been uh, negative about it the other day at all because it's a nice holster. It, uh, it is ambi, so it could do, uh, be mounted on either side. And with these slots, the way they're cut, um, you can have it as a vertical. And uh, I mean, you could do like a, a cavalry draw with this however you wanted, or with this uh, angled cut, you can cant this. And uh, boy, I found out I really do like this thing in its cross draw configuration. Like for driving, you know, sitting in there and it just, it rides right there perfect and it's an easy enough reach. Um, snapping that snap loose and, and pulling it, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. And uh, I guess I'll try maybe wearing it on the other side. Um, maybe if I go out walking in the woods tomorrow and uh, we'll see what that feels like. But the holster, it's actually a, a pretty good winner. I will still work on some of my own, but it's a good one. All right, uh, as far as a couple things about the gun. Now, just before anybody has any issues, this uh, completely empty, completely cleared. And uh, that cylinder feels so much better than it did yesterday. It was, uh, it was really kind of sticky, really tight. And now it's actually almost freewheeling. That's that's much better. Now, this is something that I have found out. Uh, and I talked about this at the range. Once you close the gate, you need to index that uh, cylinder. Or you will not be able to uh, draw the hammer back. It's one of those safety features they've got built in here. And, uh, well, I guess it's a good thing. Um, I wanted to point out this grip. I don't know for sure if this is Cocobolo, what hardwood but it is just silky smooth. They're very nice grips. And um, it's got a nice little indentation here, a little contour, so that when you, uh, when you grip, 
it just feels the palm swell in your hand feels nice your uh, your other fingers they just lay in there and really really a nice grip on that gun um, very very pleased with that um, as far as the trigger it uh, it feels pretty good to me it's, it's not too heavy um, I was watching some of the other videos available um, on on YouTube and uh, uh, there's one over there on Gun Blast. Um, Boge did a really nice job. In fact, if you want a good review of this pistol, go watch his. Um, I, I couldn't uh, begin to do as much uh, in-depth as, as that man could. But anyway, he had a process. He talked about um, taking one leg of the spring off for the uh, the trigger return, the light in the trigger. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't feel that there's any need. Um, something else to point out that I... I'm really happy about uh, Ruger, although they uh, always have their lawyer BS information on the uh, the barrels. This time, they put it all the way underneath, and it's out of the way that you don't really have to look at it uh, unless you turn it over to look at it. It's it's there, so they can say they've got their their butts covered with that. And uh, well. I'm, I'm happy about that. That at least it's not out here on the side where I got to look at it. Uh, I can look at this real nice, pretty Cerakote finish that they put on this. Um, <laughs> something that, uh, well, this pin is just a little tiny bit of a nubbin on there. I mean, most uh, pins, they've got a little bit to get a hold of that uh, you can get it out. Now, this is difficult, but it can be done. Well, I'm not going to wrestle with it right now. What I found, though, is once you get it out here, that's it. It will not pass the ejector uh, button, switch, whatever you want to call that. So you cannot get that pin out of of the uh, the frame. You can get it out fine, just you know enough more more than enough to get the cylinder out, you know, for cleaning or whatever. But I do not see any way that you're going to get that pin the whole way out. Um, my little Heritage 32 has a uh, like a horseshoe cut out on it which I thought was a pretty good idea once I realized that with this shorter barrel, um, you, you can't get that pin out past the ejector button. Not a big deal, but, uh, you know, something to know. So one last thing, and uh, maybe it's my imagination, but looking down that, uh, that barrel, it seems to me that that front sight is just ever so slightly canted to the left. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, but that would maybe account for where my rounds were hitting. Uh, you know, that, that, maybe it's just me. But I think what I will probably do, I will get a hold of one of those uh, Dragon Rider front sight adjustment tools, and uh, I might just give that the gentlest of nudges to the right and see if I can get it to where I feel like it's straight. And then I'll take it back to the range and, and give it a few rounds and uh, see where they hit. Regardless, I say this thing's a winner. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with it. It looks nice. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really, really want to carry this thing as a uh, defensive. I mean, I've got far better choices. But uh, you know, as far as something to carry that actually looks really nice, uh, <laughs> this fits the bill. I like it. So if you can find one, I'd say pick it up. It's worth the price. Thanks.